Okay, so back to our letter, whichever letter you happen to be using. I'm using an S. So I've got my length of thread that's two strands just beyond my elbow. And this time I am going to leave it so that I can weave in the knot. But again, with young children, you might not want to do that. You might want to just knot it at the back so it doesn't come through. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a running stitch up and down on the very outside of the S. So I'm going to start right in the very corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down my bit of thread along where my stitching is going to go because the idea is what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread over it so that it gets held in place. Now, you might do a one or a two count running stitch, so let's do a two. So I'm going to miss one, so I'm going to miss that one. Let me see. I say this really isn't the best setup for showing this. Uh, I'm going to go into that second hole. I'm leaving one hole gap. I'm going to pull my yarn through. Uh, now you do need to hold on to your yarn at the back or you'll pull it out but once you've got that stitch it actually is quite difficult to pull it out so that's good um i've managed to have one on one side and one on the other side there we go now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that when my next i'm going to go count two again so one two and this time i'm going to have this yarn inside so that it's enclosed in the stitch and this is the way that we hide the ends. So on the front we've got uh, a positive and a negative, so to speak. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to miss one stitch. And again, this is a good stitch for children to learn to use. We use it in all sorts of things. And it'll actually fairly quickly cover up your area and produce a nice pattern for you. So you can now see that my back pieces are nicely enclosed. I'm gonna enclose it once more in that direction so it doesn't stick out so much. And of course you can also trim them down. That's the other thing you can do so they don't show quite so much. So I'm going to miss one stitch, stitch and in place there we go this other one I'm just going to trim down because it's more than enough now your challenge is always when you come to the end and you find that you actually this this is allowing me to do two stitches this right? yes now I've got my last stitch in and we've got this kind of look Trim that one, obviously you're not worrying about what that looks like. And again, when you trim, make sure you don't cut the wrong thread. Trim that one off. You can always slot a bit of, use a bit of glue at the back as well to help hold down your threads if they're not behaving. Now I'm gonna miss my gap again. Uh, the problem with doing alternate stitches is that, uh, sorry, alternate holes is you might well find that you your pattern doesn't allow you to completely go alternate stitches just with the cuts that you've made. But you can, with running stitch, you can do more than one stitch at a time. So I'm doing in and out there. You can go in and out, in and out, in and out as many as times as you can manage if you want to. So I'm going to do that here. Just be careful while you pull that you don't pull too hard and you damage the plastic canvas. But obviously it makes it quite a bit quicker. I, I like the fact that the little bits of black show. Here's my broken bit, but it's not going to matter too much because I'm not sewing over the edge. Whoops. Now, here what I mean is uh, this stitch has now gone too far. Okay, I need it to come back one stitch. 
So pull your yarn back tight and put your needle back through the same hole if you do that. And this is something that you can't do when you're sewing with fabric. It's just almost impossible to do that. But that's the beauty of this is that you can easily undo a stitch. So here I'm just going to have to do a single stitch. Ah, I've done too many stitches there. That's why it hasn't worked out. So I'm going to actually go back again and correct. So this I really do like about plastic canvases. It's very easy to undo your mistakes. Now you might not be worried about redoing it, but if you do want to redo it, then this one, up one, there we go. And it actually keeps the pattern going. This one, up one. It's certainly very easy to do a stitch going to the back and then to the front all in one go. The other thing you can do is you can run your stitches like this, so leave pulling it through till you've done some more stitches and that saves a bit of time as well because it's the pulling through that always takes time. Younger children are bound to end up stitching in the wrong place and you can decide whether to point it out to them or whether just to let them enjoy doing the sewing and not worry too much about the details. Sewing is a very useful skill, not just for surgeons, but just being able to sew a button on or sew a small tear and repair something is incredibly useful and it can be very creative as well. You need to remember to leave enough that you can sew your ends in. So I can do a couple more stitches but not much more than that. You need just longer than your needle's length. You can see that. So I can probably do another one stitch. And I need to obviously finish at the back. So now what we do is we weave it in and out of the thread like this. Now what I recommend is that you work from the outside in so you don't have your edge bits, your bits sticking out. So put your needle from the outside to the in and from the outside to the in. And then you can cut. And you might want to glue these little ends in place, especially if you're leaving it blank, because you're not going to want to have your ends jumping up. But as you can see, that's coming on very nicely and it's very quick to do. 